Welcome to another Recall by Data IQ video. Today we are going to talk about nine important skills that you need in order to become a successful data scientist. We are going to divide these skills into two categories, core skills and tool skills. We will go over five essential steps of data science process and then talk about what skills are needed in each of these steps. Any data science project starts with understanding a business problem. Let's say you are working as a data scientist in supply chain project and if you don't have supply chain knowledge then that's not going to help. If you get confused by jargon such as back ordering or drop shipment that's not going to be good for the project. Many people take domain specific degrees such as supply chain major or CFA and then they acquire necessary tool skills to become data scientist. I want to give an example of energy company Halliburton and when they hire data scientists many times they would prefer a person having petroleum engineering degree so that the person understands petroleum engineering domain they understand the engineering principles and now that same person would have acquired necessary tool skills for data scientists and then they become really successful in their job. With that, we cover the first core skill, which is business understanding or domain knowledge. The second core skill is analytical thinking. Throughout the project, you'll have to make a lot of analytical decision. If a problem can be solved using regular expression, don't try to build machine learning model. You need to know how to crunch numbers and draw insights out of it. And for that, analytical thinking is super important. And the third core skill is communication. When I say communication, I don't just mean being fluent in English. See, as a data scientist, you're working like a mini entrepreneur within an organization. And you need to have both the business and technical skills and the skills of conveying your ideas to others. So that covers effectively conveying your ideas to stakeholders through data storytelling, listening skills, expectation management, being kind to others, and knowing the art of influencing people and making friends. All right, let's talk about two skills now. Second step in a data science process is data collection. For this, you can collect data from internet by writing web scraping scripts in Python or you can collect data from internal databases by using SQL and Python. So this covers two important tool skills, which is Python and SQL. In the data science industry, there are two prominent programming languages. One is Python, the second one is R. R has its own benefit and is used heavily in the pharma industry in the USA. And SQL is something that is used by various career roles such as data analyst, data scientist, data engineer. It is such a versatile skill that you need to have it if you want to become successful in the data industry. After collecting data, when you look at your data set, most of the time it will be messy. And that's the reason data scientists spend 80% of their time in doing data cleaning and exploration. Your goal is to transform data in such a state that it can be used by the next stage in a data science process. For this, you need math and statistics knowledge. Let's say there are a lot of outliers in your data set and you want to remove that. You need to know about techniques such as IQR and plus and minus three standard deviation for outlier removal. People use libraries such as Pandas, Matplotlib and Seaborn for doing exploratory data analysis so that you get an understanding of your data. Hence. EDA is another important tool skills. Now many times uh, once your data is ready in a state that it can be analyzed, people will use BI tools such as Power BI and Tableau for building visualization dashboards. And by just looking at these dashboards, many times you can get answers to your questions. This is called descriptive analysis. So when you don't need to build a machine learning model and when you are okay doing descriptive analysis, BI tools such as Power BI and Tableau are going to be handy. Therefore, BI tool knowledge is another important tool skills. BI tools are mainly used by data analysts, but in many companies, data scientists also use them for doing descriptive analytics. Once the data is clean and let's say the problem requires you to build a machine learning model, now you need machine learning skills. For building statistical models, people use 
Python libraries such as sklearn and for doing neural network based deep learning models, the two popular libraries are TensorFlow and PyTorch. Once the model is built and let's say it starts doing prediction, your job as a data scientist is to understand the results, make your data story and convey those insights to your project stakeholders. Once again, the three core skills that we discussed earlier are going to be handy in this stage. One bonus tool skill I want to discuss is end-to-end -end data science MLOps and deployment tools such as Data IQ. Organizations use these kind of tools to simplify the data science process and having a sound understanding of these tools are going to help you shine in your job. All right, so here is the pictorial representation of core skills and tool skills that we discussed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.